hey, it's hot as hell out here. It's got to be 100. The humidity is sweaty and gross. Feels like you're breathing a sock or something. It's just extremely thick and moist. So we're going to get through this as fast as we can. Uh, so, like an episode of This Old House, we're going to do some, uh, some work around the house. So if you're like me and you live on an acreage or a farm of some type, you're constantly uh, chopping up trees and mowing for four hours, watering chickens, feeding them dogs, cats, blah, just keeps going. Never ending. So the honeydew list tends to get a little uh, large. So today I figured I would uh, take care of some of the honeydew list. Well, one thing, I don't want to get too crazy because then I'll be expected to take care of everything uh, like every minute of the day and then I'll be uh, in big trouble at that point. So I'm going to get this one thing done today. My wife has a cauldron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a witch's cauldron. <laughs> She actually does it out in the front yard. The neighbors think we're totally weird. You gotta see the news van when they drive by and stop and actually start filming when she's out there brewing whatever she's brewing and then she makes me drink it. No, it's just a cauldron. She's gonna actually use it for uh, plants. <laughs> so she says she's gonna use it for plants. But the problem is, is it's filling with water because there's no hole in the bottom. So I could easily go over there and uh, take a drill and put a hole in the bottom, but uh, But that's complete nonsense. It's like two feet of water. So we are going to blast a hole in the bottom of it and call it done. But first, it's hot out here. So I need to change so I'm a little more comfortable. So let me see if I can do this from here. Yep, yep, yep. So we should be good. And come on, don't be naked. Ah, ah that's so much better. <sighs> no, it's still freaking hot. Screw this crap. All right, let's get to it. Gila mini shells. They're not for every shotgun. They don't work in every single one. Unless you have some type of adapter, which we have never reviewed. But if somebody wants to send us one, we'll certainly give it a shot. This doesn't work in every shotgun. So you got to keep that in mind when you're purchasing these shells that your gun just may not like it. It is a high brass, which might help benefit your gun if it is a type of gun that likes the high brass. But otherwise, tread with caution here because not every single one's going to work. All the ones that we use, like the Mossberg uh, Scorpion over there, that seems to work just fine as long as you pump the shotgun the way it's meant to be pumped and not slow motion type of style, otherwise they fall out. But otherwise we didn't have any issues with these at all. Damn mosquitoes are coming out! mosquitoes. Oh, and since you're still here, there's a subscribe button right down here be kind subscribe keep an eye out for our new videos hit that little bell that's just further to the right of that subscribe button and you'll be updated on when we have new videos on top of that the unique AR people were kind enough to let us give away that unique grip that we did in last week's show so if you want to be entered in for a chance to win that unique AR grip, the one that uh, we didn't eat peanut butter and smear into the inside of it so it might smell a little funny grip, then subscribe and then leave a comment down below on that unique AR grip review saying, um, so Boss, the plane, the plane. I am out in the sticks. Why is there a plane? <laughs> <laughs> in it go to the unique ar grip review the link is down below subscribe 
and leave a comment on that review on the next product you'd like us to uh, review. Until then, subscribe, like, see you around, and uh, take care of that honeydew list and do it this style. It's time for a pro tip. Living on a farm, you're gonna step in dookie at some point. Even living in an urban setting, you still may step in some duke some point in your life. So I'm gonna show you how to get dookie out of your shoe no matter what kind of tread you got. Come with me. So no matter what you step in, if it stinks and you wanna get rid of it, you can use a stick. But that usually doesn't work too good because you don't got the time. So what you need to do is find yourself some gravel or some dirt just like this and what you want to do is you want to rub your shoe in it as good as you can so all that dirt gets in there and covers that poo and that way it'll come off a lot easier so all you got to do and I don't know if this is in frame is rub it in now that's completely coated so what you need to do now is you can take your shoe and smack it on some cement like a sidewalk and that dookie's gonna fall right off. Otherwise, if you just leave it in there, it'll hide the scent for a while unless it's chicken crap. Then chicken crap, you're gonna smell that regardless or pig crap for that matter. So once that dries, it'll fall off naturally as you're walking, which is great if you have an office job because it's a fun game of what the hell is that smell and I highly recommend it. So rub it in some dirt. Stomp it out on some cement or on the ground like I am. Rub it in some grass at that point, And then give it a look. Dookie free. Pro tip you'll never forget. Boy, that sounds bad. Sorry about that. Pro tip you'll never forget. Of all things that I teach you. Getting poo out of your shoe. That should get some subscriptions, shouldn't it? Why, yes, that is a pirate ship. Yes. I think it was so hot yesterday I forgot to mention that they're an inch and three quarter slugs.
so you can fit a lot more into your shotgun if these work in your shotgun again is trial and error they also have buckshot seven shot probably because of the key Hole's a little big, but we have fat rain here, so that's going to help tremendously. Well, anyway, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs>